I can choose ringtones. There is no way this is better than iPhone. So here we are, let's find out. I have never used an Android phone in my life, honestly. I know that's what everyone on YouTube says right now, but in my case, it actually is true. I film videos professionally, and naturally, I'm always on the lookout for the latest tag that can be used in content creation. I'm so excited and a little bit nervous because this is my first phone ever that I got brand new. Should I do it? <laughs> I guess we have to, right? So. And there is another one down here. Uh, do not accept if seal is broken. That's it. Okay, now let's open it and see what's inside the box. Okay, so we got the <laughs> we got a lot of cameras right here. Uh, charging cable, Type C to Type C. Feels just like the Sony camera. Type-C cables, to be honest. Actually, this pin looks a little bit more fancy than iPhone that comes with the iPhone. Wow. Okay, wow, this screen is massive, guys. I'm not sure if it's charged. Oh, it's charged, it is. Samsung Galaxy. The phone looks stunning. It's very unusual to see these sharp edges though, because I'm used to seeing more rounded shapes on the devices. And I'm not sure if it's comfortable to carry it in your pocket with sharp corners like this. I feel like it can stretch the fabric of your pants, for example, but hey, you shouldn't really carry it in your pocket anyways. If you know, you know. I have to say, the first thing that strikes me is how big this phone is. I currently use iPhone 13 Pro and personally, I prefer the smaller iPhones over the Mac series. So I have never used a phone this big. And I'm not sure whether I could get used to it, but we'll see. The screen is so huge. Wow, let me just show you the comparison. Yeah, just so I understand how much bigger this phone is. Whoa. This is so snappy. So I got this black color and I'm not sure if you guys can see, but yeah, the fingerprints are a little bit visible, but not too much really. Either way, I'm gonna be using the protective case, so it's not gonna be bothering me really. And what also surprises me is how lightweight it is. I mean, for the promised battery life, it's definitely lighter than I would expect. And like the rest of you, I think, I don't always have my heavy camera set up with me, but I still need a camera for filming on the go. So what I really want to see is how well it performs in different lighting situations and if it's able to produce high quality footage that can keep up with my needs. So with that said, let's talk about the camera. It has manual mode, which is game changer for me as a filmmaker. Being able to lock my settings like white balance ISO and everything else is crucial when filming. The fact that the manual mode is also available for the front facing camera is a huge plus. Right now I'm filming on the Samsung S23 Ultra on the selfie camera and the image quality is incredible. I always was under the impression that iPhone has better image quality, but at this point I'm not so sure. Let me know what you think. It looks like DSLR camera actually. This is something that I would have had to spend extra money on and buy a separate app for my iPhone. Those of you who have watched my previous video about an anamorphic lens system for an iPhone know that I used a paid app for that. So I'm impressed that this Samsung has it built in so I'm able to adjust all my settings right on the phone. This is a huge step up for sure. I have to say I'm a little bit protective when it comes to the gear and this Samsung S23 Ultra is no exception because it's the most expensive phone yet for me. So I want the full protection for it. I decided to go with this Smart View wallet case. I think it's a little bit overpriced, but I had no other option. So I decided to go with it because it has this cool cutout and provides the whole protection of the front and back of the phone. Now let's talk about the biggest difference between iOS and Android. It's customization, of course. I think it's pretty much common knowledge at this point that Android phones have a lot of control over the looks and the feel of the device. With the most recent iOS update, it feels like Apple is trying to mimic some of the Samsung interface, but Samsung allows for full customization. Not gonna lie, right now I'm feeling a little bit overwhelmed because there is so much happening here, so many different notifications and settings I have to install, so yeah. Yeah, it takes time to get used to that for sure. I need to learn how to do screen recordings and screenshots as well. You know, at this point I feel like a boomer. Now apart from camera, this is the next thing that I'm really pumped for. I'm always putting down the ideas into my notebooks and I hate typing with the keyboard. I need that feeling of writing. So I'm really hyped to see if it is convenient to use this 
little function right here. Yeah, you see, it's not that easy to take out the stylus. So this is one of the first critiques right now. If you don't have long nails, yeah, it's a little bit tricky to get it out with the case on. The stylus itself feels a little bit fragile and maybe this button is located a little bit too close to the middle of the pen. I don't know, can I break it? I had a little bit of fun today also with this phone and oh my god, it's so awesome. Just check it out. Going from the wide angle view to the telescopic lens, it's incredible how much details this camera can deliver. I did not expect it to be that good. And also the image stabilization comes in really handy because on the longer end of the telescopic zoom lenses, usually when you film, um, you have a lot of jitters, so you have to use a tripod or a monopod. But here you don't need any of that. It's just built-in image stabilization and I think it's like AI processing here yeah I'm really surprised with how good this image looks and it feels so good to have all the manual settings here so I can adjust the shutter speed choose the right white balance for my needs it's really nice that it's all built in the phone um, at the maximum 200 millimeter I can go into crop mode on this camera and go a little bit punched in but this is beautiful look how beautiful it looks this is 4k unfortunately I cannot film in 8k with this camera but it still looks beautiful Another favorite function of mine is, you see this? Like once you close the case, you get this time right here and you can put on your animation. And you get also the notifications here. It's so crazy. It's like I'm having, I don't know, like extra smartwatch, but it's here. I don't know how it works. Like I'm trying to find the point, you know, when it turns on and off. <laughs> it's so nice. Yeah. For sure, it feels like a it feels like a smart watch right here. And also, I set up this cool ringtone for the notification. So whenever I'm receiving a new comment on YouTube, I get this jazzy sound. So yeah, if you leave a comment right now, that means I'm listening to some nice tunes from the Samsung S23 Ultra. Yeah, yeah, I know. iPhone user gets an access to customization of the phone and can choose his own notification sounds. Well, yeah, you guys had an access to that. For me though. Yeah, I'm late to the party, I guess, but I'm really enjoying it. And also the stylus turned out to be super useful to put down my ideas. I already have some thoughts about this phone put down right here and I will share it with you very soon. Overall, I really like the phone so far and I cannot wait to dive into the settings and to see what it has to offer. I will be coming back with more videos about the camera compared to the iPhone and even the cinema camera. So if you're interested, stay tuned for the next video. And in the meantime, make sure to click on the next video and I will see you next time. Bye-bye.